Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. It's daft, isn't it? Anyway, I am here today to... I sound like I'm... <laughs> today oh sorry um yeah so anyway i've got a huge haul of summer dresses and um it's freezing cold outside i'm wearing a great big woolly jumper and um i'm about to strip off but the house is quite warm so um that's not too bad a, a situation um i've also pinned the monsoon dress with the weird bulge in the side caused by the zip and if that doesn't work then it'll just go back um so i've got a large selection of dresses here today and they'll be interesting and i'm trying to really focus on the fact that i'm only on holiday for a certain period of time and then i have to live my life the rest of the time and we don't really get all that much very hot weather in this country so i need to be mindful of that really and um not get too silly about what i buy for this holiday although it is a holiday of a lifetime but um you know i've got to be a bit realistic and um yeah so what else can i tell you went shopping with a friend yesterday and that was quite interesting we've never actually been shopping together and um we went to tk maxx and um she bought three dresses in styles that she would never have tried and uh, that was really gratifying and she was really thrilled so um that was a good result the traffic was absolutely terrible because there was flooding and ice and roadworks and it took us an hour and a half to do a 40 minute journey. So that was a bit of a nightmare, but we got there and we had a nice day. And uh, yeah, it's always interesting going with someone new shopping up now, as I said, I've never been shopping with it before. So that was nice going out for lunch with some friends tomorrow. And I'll try and get this video up today. Um, I don't think there's a lot else to talk about really. So I'll just crack on with the video and um, I'll have a little chat as I go along if there's anything that I think you ladies might be interested in oh and if you could subscribe if you haven't subscribed i mean i think the last video had had about i don't know it had something like seven thousand views in the first um seven hours or something um and only about half of those were subscribers so i know i mean i'm reluctant to subscribe i'm not gonna lie but i don't know why really because you know it doesn't tie you to anything you can either watch or not watch the videos however you feel inclined and I've only subscribed to about two or three channels but anyway I'd be grateful if you can it's obviously totally up to you and I will crack on with the first dress so it's going to be interesting because some of these are a little bit different to what I would normally wear I thought I'd pop this monsoon dress on first so that I can see if the pinning of the hip has worked and it's better, it's not perfect, but obviously the zip is still in there. So I think it will work. So I think I will keep it. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention, I will show you in a second, but and when you've got a dress like this that has got a very wide neckline and it, it's quite likely that at some point your bra strap will show and like I've just got a kind of neutral colored bra on today, I would wear a bright colored bra you know so like bright pink or something so that the straps look a bit more fun so you kind of don't look like you've got your Bridget Jones bra on not that that's a thing but you know what I mean so yeah obviously this is a monsoon dress for those who didn't see the last video and I think this was reduced down to 22 pounds and it's a really lightweight dress and it's kind of got a, tro a tropical print on it and it's got this problem with the bias because it's cut on the bias but it is a lot better, a lot, lot better. Um, so I, I think it will be fine. What I will do is take the zip out and then lay them on top of each other. Because I mean, this one has got, I mean, I've got, I've got that curve anyway, but uh, you know, I think once that is, is stitched and lightly pressed, I think it'll be all right. For 22 pounds, I'm willing to take the risk because I like everything else about the dress. So I just thought I'd give you a little update on that because I'm sure you've all been waiting with bated breath. <laughs> oh dear, oh Lord, how ridiculous. Anyway, so I just thought I'd quickly slip that one on. I'm aware that the postman's going to knock on the door any second, so he's going to think I'm totally bonkers wearing a summer dress. But anyway, that's by the by. I'll get on to the next one. 
seems really mad to try and these dresses on when it's so cold outside. But um, for those of you who haven't watched my earlier videos, and um, I think this is only for UK people, I think, I don't know if next uh, post delivers abroad, but on the next website, there is always a clearance tab at the top. So if you go along men's, women's furniture, children, blah, 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 there is a clearance tab and that's there all year round. So I usually, I look in there regularly. If I'm looking for something, that's where I'll always look first. And um, I search on kind of item and then on size. And um, I'll put in a kind of size either side of my size as well, if I, because some things will fit me in a smaller or a larger size. Anyway, what I'm saying is because a lot of this stuff might not be available. I will link it where possible in the description box, which is down below this video. Um, but they, there may well be something for you. So everything is at least half price or less. And I think this was 20 something pounds and it's pure cotton and very, very lightweight, as you can see. I've just taken my bra straps down, um, but if I wanted to, I would probably wear, again, you know, a sort of black, bra black strap bra or something. And I wouldn't normally, you know, play bingo, but, um, when it's really hot, like, I'm sorry, these are my arms, so get over it. Um, so I'll, ju I'll just walk back. I'm not using the microphone because I don't want to fall foul of what happened to me the other day when it, it didn't work. So I will try not to say too much from a distance. You can see it's got um, three tiers and it's got the same black and white which is quite a heavy kind of braid which I think is quite nice actually so depending on how the others do will depend whether I keep this but this is a really really cool dress if it's very hot um and and it's it's timeless really isn't it I mean you know it probably be my time that goes before this style of dress goes so yeah I think um I like it well enough and um, yeah, depending on price and how I get on with the others. And then I've got another massive haul from um, John Lewis coming in and I think I've got some more next things coming in as well. So, I mean, it's very soon I'll be done for this. I just want to get everything reduced if I can. I hate paying full price for anything, but anyway, that's just me. So that's dress number, well, kind of one. Okay. This is a pretty dress, isn't it? This is um, pure cotton and it's kind of rainbow stripes. I like the way it's got this frill. So although it's kind of just thin straps, they are, you know, wide enough to cover your bra straps and you could wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to which looks pretty as well. And again, I'd probably wear a, a bright colored bra. I've actually got an orange bra that would, would do well with this. It's a little bit snug on the boobs, but not, you know, it's not too tight. Fits really nicely. And it's really, <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting the shivers because, um, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's too tight. I got it on without doing the zip, undoing the zip. Oh yeah, no, it's not too tight at all, actually. If, I think it's just where my boobs kind of realign the stripes for want a better expression. But uh, yeah, I think that's a really pretty dress. I can't remember the price of this one either. I just grabbed the um, delivery note, I'll probably tell you. I think this one is, well, it's either 35 or 20. So yeah, but I think it's actually a really nice dress. So I don't mind either of those prices to be fair, because they'll still be half price. So, you know, it's a good quality dress. It's a nice, it's a good quality linen cotton. It's kind of a very soft linen -y cotton. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you my boobs. Yeah, anyway, I think that's really pretty. Ideal for a hot country or a hot summer's day here. 
So that's number two. So the black and white striped dress was £20, the one with just the tie ribbons, and that last one was £35. That's because it's Albere, which is a make. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a whole section actually in John Lewis. I think it's quite a kind of high level make. And then there's this dress. And now this one is £25. And again, it'll be um, less than half price. And I'm not going to lie, when I saw it on the hanger, I thought, oh, that's rubbish. But actually, putting it on, I really like it. It just shows you, you have to try things on. It's a really lightweight cotton with this gold thread running through it with a shirt well shirt bodice so shirt elastic with a little frill around the bottom but I think this would be really nice for going out for dinner it's a really really lightweight cotton and it's um lined so I mean I'm just keeping the yellow sandals on you know I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm just not going to keep running up and changing my sandals I've got so many but uh, when I do my final like curated <laughs> Who do I think I am? My actual last selection of clothes for the cruise. I will try it on with the accessories and everything else. And if you're on the same cruise, you can say I've seen that before. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's a really good dress for a holiday. It fits really nicely. It's not, you know, hugely voluminous, but it's got plenty of room in it for sitting down, walking, I can wear my chub rub shorts underneath it. It's completely, um, you know, not see-through or anything. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. That is a definite keeper. Oh, and this is a Lipsy one, I think, which, you know, is a very young brand as far as I'm concerned. But like I say, you just don't know. It's got great length sleeves. I love it. So this is a very lightweight dress and it's a wraparound dress. When it came on the hanger... They had it just tied together and not wrapped around. So I was like, the hell is that? I thought it was like a caftan or something. And I thought, well, I'm not wearing that. It's very low. My boobs are fighting with it. Um, but it is a really lightweight cotton linen. And it's got a nice um, decoration here. Uh, £22. So again, less than half price. Nice sleeves. They're lined. So they kind of give you this kind of bell effect. And um, yeah, it's it's a good length. It's very lightweight, but you know, like I said before, it's too much trouble because I'm either going to have to pin it or wear a vest under it um, because it's just too low, really. Um, and I don't think I need it, you know, I, I don't need to compromise. So I don't think I'll keep it, although it's a, it's a perfectly nice dress. And very, very light and airy. I mean, I, I suppose I could wear, you know, more of a bra that goes across, kind of like a bandeau bra or something, I don't know. I'll look at solutions. But if I don't find an easy solution, because I don't want to wear a vest under it, because that'd just be too warm then if it's hot. It's fine in this country. And, you know, I think I've got nicer dresses, so it's probably going back. Now, this dress is £18. Um, it's a nice, lightweight dress. It's kind of a car key, I suppose. And it's got this nice white piping detail around. It's really really a very cool to wear dress as in temperature not as in cool as my kids say as soon as you say that word you're not cool but i do i wasn't trying to be cool i was just saying it anyway i shut up um it's got quite an unusual kind of design on the sleeve i think it's just too short for me um i'll show you but my legs aren't brown which um when they've got a tan, everything looks better, doesn't it? But I'll show you it. And I will decide, I mean, for £18, it's a very... Loads of room. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's The bodice is lined here, and then it's all lightweight. So 
I'll see what I look like on the video and imagine it with maybe um, trainers and tanned legs. I might, you know, I might decide to keep it. So I'm showing you this dress, but I'm not going to keep it. And um, it's a really lovely cotton, really proper cotton, if you know what I mean, with all very pretty little flowers on it. But um, it's too much trouble. And that, that is because it, it's kind of going to keep falling off my shoulders. Um, and I'll show you the back. Um... I could probably do it tight. I'm just going to see if I can do it tighter. Like a contortionist. Because um, it's got this tie at the back and then it's got a cut out. But I just think I'm a bit old for it really. So that's the front and that's the back. And it's quite nice. Now I've done that up a bit tighter, it's a bit better fit. But um, I don't know, you have to be a bit careful, don't you? I don't want to look like mutton dressed as lamb. But then, you know, going down to kind of the breakfast or the pool or just kind of local sightseeing, there's not a whole lot back on display, is there? Again, I'll look in the video. It's quite handy this because uh, it's my kind of uh, sense check when I look in the video. So um, it's a really cool lightweight dress, not a bit kind of sticky, quite crisp cotton actually. And I haven't pressed it up. I gave them a light steaming because they've been sitting in a carrier bag. Plenty of room. Mm, I, th I think this one's 22, 24 pounds, something like that. So it's very, very, you know, low price. I don't know, I might keep it because it's so cool. You know, if it's really hot, you don't really care that much. I don't think it's that. I've, I've got quite brown skin, tanned skin. There's a bit of flob there. But... Anyway, I'll see. Yet to make a decision. It's a nice dress. This is a white stuff dress and this is £28. And, um, you know, I have had no luck with clothes from the white stuff at all. I bought lots of things from there and had to send them back. The sleeves are really tight. It's a nice print. It's a cotton jersey. I'm having to hold it together because every time I let go, it pops open. So it's got tiny little buttons that just slip it out of the um, buttonhole. So, I mean, if I liked it and all the rest of it, I would, I would just stitch that up because um, and then it's got the pockets in quite an unusual place. I mean, nothing wrong with that. At least it's got pockets. I'm gonna have to just hold that together before you see all my puppies come out to play. It's a nice enough dress, but obviously it doesn't work for me. It's too tight around the bust. It's an 18, I'm an 18. Uh, the sleeves are too tight. It's got, an, it's a nice quality, cotton jersey, lightweight, you know, someone with smaller boobs and the time to stitch that up. Nothing wrong with it, but um, not a lot right with it either. What did I say it was? Yeah, 28 pounds. So this would have been over for 50 pounds, which I can imagine because white stuff are quite expensive. I do like the pockets there actually, because uh, it's gathered. It's not like it adds weight to your tummy. So um, yeah, nice print, nice colors, not a dress for me. So I've got some shorts. So if I can get them on, I'll show them to you. Otherwise I won't. So, as you can tell, I'm back in my jumper, which means that the shorts looked flipping awful. Uh, shorts is not a thing I would have ever worn, ever. Like, 
I mean, I laugh now because like, we went to America on the ki when the kids were small, we went to Florida and did the whole Disneyland thing. And um, I wouldn't even wear trousers at that point because I was like, oh, my backside's too big. And it was it was smaller than it is now. Um, I, I really kind of curse the fact that I was so um, worried about what I looked like, you know, as in too fat. And I, I went all around America wearing skirts and dresses and I didn't have any chub rub shorts. And so it was painful. And anyway, that's, you know, you live and learn, don't you? I was telling this to my friend yesterday. She was bemoaning the fact of, of um, how she looks right now because she's put on a little bit of weight. And I just said, you know, in 10 years time, you'll look back and wish you were how you are today because you're 10 years younger and more able and all the rest of it. And I bet when you look back 10 years from now, you thought there was things wrong with you and now you would love to go back to that. So like, don't waste this day worrying about that stuff. There's, don't give it energy, don't give it air time, don't give it oxygen. Anyway, that's my little lecture for the day. So I tried the shorts on, they look awful. And um, whilst I do kind of show you warts and all, there is a limit to it, I'm afraid, ladies. And I look like something from It Ain't Off, Off Mum, which is an old comedy program where Lofty was in the army in the jungle and he was wearing great big baggy shorts with a great big belly. So any of you that know Lofty know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you could probably find it online somewhere. It was probably completely on PC now, but there you are. It was funny in its day. So anyway, that's it from me. I will try and get this video up as soon as I can. And um, I'll see you all really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.